let's say guys and peace be upon in this month so in this video we're going to learn how to configure extended access control list using cisco packet scissor so uh in the previous video we learned how to configure a standard access control list using the same topology here okay all right so i'll open our not uh, i mean our google spreadsheet and let you know that today we're in number 11 part two the last part which is extended access control list right all right so in the previous video we were um using standard access control list to restrict these two computers from accessing the two servers okay so in this video we're going to use now extended access control list to restrict uh these two computers from accessing only the dhcp server okay okay so without any further ado i'll open our notepad to let you know are the steps that we're going to follow to achieve the objective so the first step is always to draw the next topology decorate and comment so as you can see here i've used 2911 router i mean 2911 router and 2960 um, switch okay all right so we i have two lands here one server farm another one is our internal network so the internal network is under one network which is 10.0 24 okay all right so although uh, we've separated them using their peer address based on the departments but it's under one network right okay so when you go to the next step configure IP addresses to the, uh, to the router and to the host devices so guys i've already done this i've configured this interface which is gig01 and gig02 to use this network and this network respectively and if i can just hover over the uh, the router icon you can see gig01 has taken 10.1 gig02 has taken uh, 10 10 10 .1, okay all right and the gig01 i mean the gig01 ip address will act as the default gateway of all of these computers the gig02 here ip address will act as the default gateway of the servers okay and the host uh, the host devices you can see ip address have been allocated uh, as provided in the comments here okay if you can just move over this one you can see the ip address 10.14 and the default gateway is 10.1 okay also in this side uh the ip address is 10 10 10.20 and the default gateway is uh, 10 10 10.1 okay all right so let's go to the second step try to ping the servers from it and the HR department so i want to try to ping the servers so i go, I go to any pc on the it department come desktop come to uh, command prompt and try to ping 10.10.10.10 so it will ping because uh, it's the directly connected network so uh, it will ping yeah so if i can just try to ping another server which is the 20 uh, meanwhile, let's initiate uh, the ping on the HR department computer. Ping 10.10.10.20. You can see it's pinging. Okay. So 10.10. .10, it's ping. Okay. All right. Also, they said all were successful. All right. So when you go back to a notepad, configure an extended access control list to permit only the two uh, IT PCs to access the DCP server while denying the rest from accessing the server, okay? All right, so that's the um, the main point of discussion today. We want to only IT department pick these two PCs, these two computers to access this server, okay? We have no problem with the web server. Any PC can access it. But we want only the, TP, the two PCs, the two computers to access our DCP server. So we implement um, extended control access control list on this router. So we just click on that router and uh, uh, config T. And what do we say? First, we create an access control list with a number. Remember, this is an extended access control list. And for an extended access control list, it starts from number 101. So any number from 101 going onwards, it's an extended access control list, okay? Alright, so we just say access, 
access list uh, from 101, let's say 110 or 120, 120, then permit, permit IP, okay, IP, this one, this IP, okay, 192.168.10.10. With each subnet mask, you have to specify each subnet mask with 255.255.255.0. Then the difference uh, between uh, extended and standard access control is, is that in extended access control, is, we specify both the source and the destination. So this is the source. And the destination should be um, the IP address of the DSCP server which is 10 10 10 not 20 so we just say 10 not 10 not 10 not 20 with its subnet subnet mask which is 255.255.255.0 and you hit enter this policy here this rule here will allow the first computer which is which has this ip address to access the dsp server so let's allow the second computer. So uh, we just go here and it was 10.20. Okay. All right. Now, after we have allowed the two computers, now let's uh, deny any other computer from accessing the DSCP server. Okay. All right. So we just say access, access list uh, 120, uh, deny IP any any and we hit enter all right so guys you've configured extended access control list here so it's the time that we apply it on the interfaces let's say we want to apply it on this interface which is gig01 which is highlighted on this step uh bind the acl created on either router interface so let's say we want to bind it here okay all right, so I just go to this route again and I come to gig01. I uh, click on gig01 and now we are under gig01. So what I want to say, I want to bind that access control list here. We just say uh, IP access group uh, 120, it was 120 in and retain that. So let's try to ping again from any of the pieces. So I'm going to try to ping DCP server. So we want to try to ping DCP server. So you can see it's ping DCP server. And if I can try again to ping the DCP server from this computer. Uh, 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 20. You can see it's ping also. Let's try to ping from HR department. Remember the rules is there to prevent HR department from pinging the DSCP server or from accessing the DSCP server. You can see we have the problem here. So even if I try from this computer, it's the same thing. The first time it was pinging. So if I can try the second time, it should never ping because there is an existing uh, access control list that will deny traffic from these two hosts to the DSCP server or the servers, okay? All right, so basically, I'll go here and mark that as done. So when we meet next, let's do the uh, the last part, which is uh, access control list for v interfaces. So thank you so much, guys. Please subscribe to this channel. Like this video, share with friends, and let's see you again in the next video. Bye.